Hi, I'm Fox. I'm Raggable. This is PSP Hacking 101, episode 25. Emergency release. Yes. So there's a downgrader. Another downgrader for the 3.5 PSPs. Yep. And for any PSP, as a matter of fact. Yeah, you don't have to have a special motherboard or nothing. Forget all that stuff. Out the window. Yep. As long as you got a copy of Lumines. European or US version. Doesn't will, matter will what. Will Lumines work? <laughs> and, uh... uh there's going to be one for the Japanese version soon. Uh, soon, soon, yeah. yes. So, like, uh, Amazon is, like, the number one seller right now. <laughs> so pick up your copy quick before they change it. <laughs> I'm sure you already have one, though, at this point in time. All right, so to the steps. I hope. All right, so we're going to assume you're not running 3.5 yet. So the first thing you need to do is upgrade to 3.5. This exploit only works under the firmware version 3.5. So... Download the file. We have a link to it in our show notes. And then you need to uh, extract the eBoot, place it in a folder on your PSP under PSP slash game slash update. If that isn't there, the update, you need to create it. All capital letters, update. Place the eBoot in there, and you're probably going to need to rename it eBoot.pbp. All right, so now that you've got the eBoot on your memory stick, Go ahead and run it. It's under the games directory. It's the official Sony upgrade to 3.5. Make sure you have your PSP plugged in. It will only take a couple minutes. After that's done running, you need to go ahead and delete that eBoot file off of your PSP's memory stick. Uh, you might as well delete the upgrade folder too, just, just to play it safe. All right, so now your PSP's at 3.5. Um, so you're going to have to download the downgrader package. and. It's pretty simple. You just extract the folder in there, ms underscore root, to your PSP memory stick's root, and it'll uh, create all the files and directories necessary to do the downgrade. One of the more important directories is it's creating another update folder, and inside of that update folder, you're going to need to place the PSP 1.5 eBoot. So you're going to need to download that. We have a link to that in our show notes too. Extract that somewhere not on the memory stick, and rename that update dot. PBP, and then copy it over to your uh, PSP's memory stick, PSP slash game slash update. Place it in there, and you're good to go. So get out your copy of Lumines, pop it in your PSP, and run it. Just press X when the game starts. The screen will clear black and fill with uh, some blue light, and then the PSP will reset itself. All right, so now Hen should be running. Um, you can check it in the system settings, and it'll actually say in there uh, 3.5 hen. But odds are it's going to work just fine. So you just go ahead and go over to execute on the memory stick the x.yz update. And this is, the, this is the downgrader. This should just run just fine. If you have a T82 motherboard PSP, which is one of the newer ones, it'll, it'll go ahead and patch it for you. So just go ahead and agree to that. After you have agreed to start the downgrade, don't unplug the PSP or try to restart it. Just go ahead and let it finish what it's doing. So after it restarts, um, everything should be fine. It might say the files are corrupt, but it's no big deal. You just have to re-enter your network settings and you're running at 1.5. So you're good to go. You can run Homebrew. And if you want to install a custom firmware, check out a few of our older episodes, uh, episode 24, and I'll show you how to get you up and running on the custom firmware that gives you all the capabilities of the latest firmwares but still have the homebrew. All right. So, yeah, you're, you're running 1.5 now, so you can run all the homebrew you want. Fun. Yeah, so you can check out the like the new uh, Quake 2 multiplayer mode that our friend Mick... Um, I thought he, song, maybe. he actually picked that back up. Yeah, yeah. So it's working now. You can actually play wireless multiplayer. When did he do that? He just released it yesterday. Holy shit. Yeah. And then there's also um, a new version of the Daedalus N64 emulator running at the fastest... Speed per, yet. How many frames per second do you get out of that? No sound, playable. No, no sound, but it's playable. What's the FPS? Uh, it depends on the game and what's going on and anywhere between... What like, did you get for Mario 64? But, uh, you're probably getting like 15, 20 frames. Okay. Thank you for a concrete <laughs> answer. <laughs> you, can, you can turn on the sound. It just drops down to like 5 frames. Oh. But it's playable and it, it, it's cool. It's cool. It's cool. So, N64 games getting closer on the PSP. Yeah. And, uh, you know, the, the, the routine, we got DVDs if you want to donate, we'll give them to you, um, 
subscribe to the feed, vote for us on Current TV. Oh, that's, be, new. that's, that, that's a new one. Yeah, yeah. I haven't told them about Current TV. Oh, yeah, yeah, Current TV. Apparently, there's a channel. It's like in 50 million homes. And uh, if you see this on here and you think we're ready for prime time, vote for us. Vote us up. If, if not, you know, give us some feedback. Say we suck, whatever. We don't care. Whatever. That's our new web host. <laughs> We've gone from Rever to Current TV. Well, we haven't left Rever. We're still on Rever, too. Maybe. So you're going to post it to everywhere? Oh, yeah, why not? <laughs> we're also on YouTube all over the place. Uh, Anyways, that was one of the comments. Keep them short. So sign up for the forums for any uh, questions. Check the show notes for all the downloads to all the files we mentioned. And uh, have fun. This has been a Two Smart Guys production. Death Girl and Colt here. Just Hello. wanted to let you know about the new podcast we're going to start. The video podcast. Um, our family's got a lot of special dietary needs. So watch twosmartguys.com. And we'll announce when we've got our new video podcast. Food Hacking 101. <laughs> <laughs> maybe. Maybe Food Hacking 101. <laughs> anyway, when we decide what it's going to be called and when it'll be coming out, um, we'll post it on oh the boy. website. So, hope you guys watch. Those of you who cook. <laughs>